everyone, I'm Anita with Kids Move and Learn, and today I have a question for you. Do your kids like to throw things? And do they throw things when you don't want them to? And then when you do want them to, they seem to have trouble aiming or doing it in the place where you want them to throw? Well, here are two fun games that you can play with them, and they're great for Halloween, but they can be done at any time. Or you can modify and change it up to meet a different theme if you want. And the great thing about these two games is it's gonna improve their throwing and their aim and hand-eye coordination. After all, we want them to develop aiming skills, right? So to aim at targets, we need to give them practice and we want to have the targets that we approve. So here are two games that are really simple to set up and you can get them to do it independently. So the first game is Bug Toss. It is really simple and silly. And as you can see in some of these videos, the kids get so excited. You get some kind of fake spider web and you spread it out between two chairs, as you can see in these pictures. And then you can get some spiders or insects and you can check out the affiliate link or you can just make them with some pipe cleaners and pretend that they're spiders. Then you put them together in a bucket or a pail a little far away from the target and you encourage your children to get the insects caught in the spider webs. And next thing you know, they're having a great time throwing and aiming. And another tip is you can put a little blue piece of tape or a cone on the ground to show them how far back you want them to stand. And as they get really good at it, you can move it further and further back. Second activity is called ghost toss. And in this video, you'll see there's a couple of different ways to play it. The most common way is to aim for a laundry basket or some kind of cardboard box using some kind of a thick napkin or using a cloth, the white cloth that you can buy. You can stuff them with either a bean bag or some tissue paper. It helps if you can make it a little bit heavy in the front because then it'll give them some, so if you can put something a little heavy like tape up some paper and the tape will give it some weight. And then you just tie the tops with either a little yarn or a little string or even a piece of tape if it doesn't work. And with black marker, you just make the little circles on the eyes and the mouth. And next thing you know, you got these little ghosts that are perfect for kids to throw. And so besides just throwing them into a basket, you can get them to aim and knock down something. Like in this little video, another idea is to use large empty plastic bottles. So they're kind of like large bowling pins and then they just have to knock them down and they're easy to put back up. The great thing about these activities is that you can start them as young as two and then they can keep practicing so that when they get to be four and five, they have a better aim. So when they're two and three, make it an open-ended target, an open-ended space. And then when they get to be four or five, you can narrow it down to be more of those specific targeted things like a bowling pin. Comment below what you think your child's gonna like better. Is it going to be the bug toss or the ghost toss? Or maybe you have another fun game that you do at home already about throwing and put it in the comments so we can share it with all the other moms. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and check us out at kidsmoveandlearn.com. Thanks, bye.